Hello and welcome to the Study Travel TV studio in London. I'm Matthew Knott. And I'm Nicola Hancock, bringing you the latest study travel news stories. The headlines this week, New Zealand student barometers showed satisfaction with agents and schools. French in Normandy partners with HES for new junior course. And ELS announces new MBA pathway programme. So we start with some positive vibes from international students in New Zealand then, Matt. Yes, indeed. International student barometers from New Zealand's university and ITP sectors have shown high levels of satisfaction with the education experience and the service received from agents. Conducted every two years and completed by around 9,000 students, the surveys found that around 9 in 10 students that had used an agent rated the service as either good or very good. The highest ranking satisfaction aspects included helpful service with visa applications, knowledge of application processes and not being too pushy. 64% of ITP survey participants applied via an agent, an increase compared with 55% in the 2015 barometer. Agents were the most commonly cited influence on choice of institution at 65% ahead of school website. Overall, 90% of university students and 89% of ITP students were satisfied with their institution experience, with a number of academic factors rated highly. Very good. From New Zealand, we travel all the way to Andorra, which will be the location for a new French Juniors programme, a collaboration between French in Normandy and HES Idiomas. Yes, the new French in Andorra course will take place at the HES Realp residential camp in July for students aged between 6 and 17 years old, with classes in the morning and a choice of 15 activities. The course adds to English and Spanish camps for HES. CEO Ferran Casas uh, said that they have been planning to add French, which is widely used in Andorra, and that French in Normandy was their number one choice of partner. Aleri Maitland, owner of French in Normandy, said the partnership allowed them to grow their junior offering and that the quality residential accommodation in a secure location was what clients were looking for. Incidentally, Hanks, did you know that that collaboration spiralled out of a meeting at ST Alfie Spain's conference? Did it really? Which, of course, takes place in Malaga this week. Anyway, over in the USA, ELS Educational Services has announced a new MBA master's program in partnership with California Lutheran University. ELS ELS said the pre-MBA would offer a combination of services to international students, included English language tuition delivered simultaneously with credit-bearing courses, as well as counselling and student support. Alexandra Zilovich, Executive Vice President of ELS, said that the new program, the first direct entry MBA pathway for the company, was a fitting way to mark the 10-year anniversary of their partnership with California Lutheran University. And now for a roundup of some of the other stories this week. Bedi Casa, a homestay booking company, and language school LSF France have announced a joint venture that will lead to the launch of the Bedi Lingua, a platform for students and agents aimed at connecting language study trips with local homestays. Over 50 new undergraduate and postgraduate degrees are now available to international students studying at the University of Sussex International Studies Centre in the UK as part of enhanced international foundation year and pre-masters programmes developed by a study group. The number of international students at universities in the Czech Republic increased slightly to almost 43,000 in 2016, according to data recently released by the Czech Statistical Office. Book and Learn, a CRM platform for study travel agents, has added a new function for helping agents to manage group bookings. And Languages Canada, the association representing English and French language providers, has launched a new web tool to provide personalised searches for agents, students, parents and other parties. In our Grapevine photo gallery this week, you can find pictures from my visit to Wimbledon School of English and events at Atlantis Language Institute and Gateway School of English. That's all for this week's news, sponsored by Rutgers Preparatory School. Thank you again for the mugs. Cheers. See you next week. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.